Some apps need permissions to be fully functional. For example, a selfie app wouldn't serve much purpose without the camera permission enabled. Apps typically handle two major types of permissions in Android, install time and runtime. In this video, we will go over what both types of permissions are and how to implement them. Install time permissions allow access to data or operations beyond the app's sandbox, but only to data that poses a limited risk to the user's privacy. For example, access to the internet requires an install time permission. In order to use an install time permission, declare it in the manifest and it will be granted upon installation. Runtime permissions, also known as dangerous permissions, give your app additional access to restricted data, mainly relating to the user's private data. An example of this is using the camera. Since runtime permissions tend to access sensitive data, they require consent from the user. In order to increase user transparency and control, users are able to accept and deny these permissions. We're building an app which needs access to the camera. Giving access to the camera is considered a runtime permission. The first step is to declare the camera permission in the manifest file. Use register for activity result with activity result contracts dot request permission passed in. This prepares the call for requesting the permission and lets you declare the callback on what to do if the permission is granted or denied. The permission is not called just using this. You will need to call launch on it, which we will do in the next section. Create another method that determines if the permission needs to be called. Set up a when statement to cover the three possible cases. The permission is already granted, the app deems that it should show the request permission rationale, or if the permission hasn't been asked yet. In the case that the permission is granted, you can carry on with any actions needing the permission. In the case that should show request permission rationale returns true, show a UI that describes in more detail why the feature needs that particular permission and also gives the user a way to accept or deny the permission from the UI. In the case that the permission hasn't been asked for yet, request the permission. When a user denies your permission for the first time, there are some ways to help them understand how the permission lets your app do something interesting. Be specific. Highlight where the app will have limited functionality without the necessary permission. Don't block user access. If a permission is denied and there's functionality available without it, provide this limited functionality and don't urge the user to grant the permission. Always respect the user's decision to deny a permission or revoke it at any time. Android 11 or above allows users to grant location, mic, and camera permissions a temporary one-time permission. If your app follows the best practices that we've discussed, then you don't need to change your code to support these one-time permissions. And that's all you need to get started with runtime permissions. Want to learn more? Check out the documentation and sample. If you learned something new, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching and happy coding.